My take on the Mireya Belmonte 800 meter freestyle, the time of 7 minutes 59.34 seconds from 10 August 2013. I'm filming this Thursday, 8 February 2024, and I'm Tannis Corey by Leonardi, and this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. So this is the 800 the Mireya Belmonte 800 meter freestyle race. Kona, the Australian shepherd mix says, She's a lady! Yeah, she is! Oh yeah! So you guys know I like Australian runner John Landy. He's convinced that Mireya Belmonte is a total John Landy, like me. Uh, <laughs> so this is the uh, Mireya Belmonte 800 meter freestyle race at the 2013 Federación Internacionale du Natación uh, Swimming World Cup in Berlin, Germany, time of 7 minutes and 59.34 seconds in the final on Saturday, 10 August 2013. With her time, she achieved a personal best time became the first woman to win to win swim to swim faster than eight minutes in the 800 meter freestyle i provide my take slash perspective on her performance and contextualize it in terms of her being a spaniard and achieving this milestone for women as well as her dedication to short course swimming championships um, as of the date of her swim she had already competed at multiple world championships um, short course swimming 25 meter long pool, multiple European championships, short course 25 meter long pool, and a swimming world cup prior. So she wasn't like some person who's like, I just want a world record um, and to kind of shame this part of the sport. She was like, no, I'm going for it. And this is a place that I call home. All right. Um, so she did it right kind of thing. Not all swimmers do, especially these days. Um, so for her, so it was a fast time. She's the first woman ever to break um, eight minutes in the 800 meter freestyle. And there's, uh, with that, right, this was a world record. The world record is not like much faster these days, right? So uh, in that sense, the world has not progressed much, um, except for Maria Belmont. She, she set other world records and stuff um, in other events. Um, and I think what's particularly notable about this is that she doesn't come from a country where there's bil a multi-billion dollar industry poured into like aquatic sports, kind of like with swimming, right? Um, I think United States of America, there's kind of this reputation of they should be at the top of the metal table in every aquatic thing ever because they put more money into it than anybody else. She came from Spain. <laughs> there's not much space for swimming uh, it's not the dominant sport of the country it's that right there's um well they do have good spaniards who's going through like um but and she's what spanish by ancestral origins and competed representing spain versus like not in, a, in the united states of america we don't it's rare to have native americans out there right and especially in middle distance swimming we don't in my lifetime we never have right so there's a bit of kind of predatory women in this same avenue stealing resources from the original peoples, um, including land and stuff like that. And, you know, she, <laughs> Miriam Belmonte is like the one who got it right, um, which cannot be said for middle distance United States of America swimmers at the top to this day. All right, filming this Thursday, 8 February 2024. He's like, she's a total landy. Yeah, so John Landy was similar in the sense of Australia was not necessarily established in running, um, nor did it necessarily have the resources. So he traveled to Finland, um, Scandinavia, to um, use their tracks and stuff like that and give back to their people because the region of Scandinavia was kind of like world record holders and had some at least semi-recent legacy kind of in the sport um, when he was going for breaking the four minute barrier in the one mile run. Um, and so in that sense, it'd be kind of, yeah, uh, she's a accurate in that sense of she's worked through not being at the most established, not having the best resources, right, to become who she is and achieve human history for the female gender um, by just kind of sticking with her home, which I think is inspirational, personally. And then she... And it was the other part. Oh, and then she, what I, one of the things I really respect about her is before this, so she had multiple European short course swimming championships, multiple world, shorts, 
World Short Course Swimming Championships and a Swimming World Cup Short Course. And then she set this up a second or <laughs> a Swimming World Cup Short Course. And so it's not like a foray in let me or like terrorize everybody. No, she didn't take that approach. Um, by just like mic dropping a couple times, you know. Now she's like, I care about this aspect of the sport, um, and so she was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna represent my country <laughs> at these competitions and do what I can do, and I'm gonna keep going till I, I do something I want to do and make human history. And she did, uh, and she kept going after this, right? She didn't set the world record and then stop. She kept going, um, so. That's it with multiple in each category. I right? had multiple world championships, world swim, short course swimming championships after this, multiple European short course swimming championships after this, and multiple swimming world cup short course after this. So she stuck with it and showed true dedication to sport. Not all swimmers are dedicated, right? Sometimes it's just about a world record. Go swim it and then completely just ignore um, the structure of the sport and the other people who compete in it. And she's not that. She's a team player and an inspirational woman. So that's my take on the Mireya Belmonte 800 meter freestyle. So a time of seven minutes, 59.34 seconds from 10 August, 2013.